Hello everyone, Guardian E here with another video for Fire Emblem Heroes, and I totally wasn't expecting this, but uh, apparently a new trailer just dropped, I think, for the new Legendary Hero, so I thought maybe we could watch it together and see what all the hubbub is about. So let's get started. Another Lin? Really? Okay, so it's another Bo Lin. God, we, I, why do we need another Bo Lin? Oh, that's a cool animation. What? What is that? Okay, you got Jenny. Oh, Inigo and Shigure. Alright, I know some people that are going to be happy. Wow, Henry... And Jacob, Micaiah, okay, Erica, Vanguard Ike, Evil Celica, Lefrem, uh, Female Robin. That is a stacked banner, for sure. That's a lot of desirable units. Wow. Okay, well, um, God, did we really need another Lin? Like, really? I mean, I like Lynn, so I'm, I'm... Anyway, let's uh, let's take another look at uh, Lady of the Wind uh, Lynn and see... So she's an infantry archer. She has swift mula gear. Wonderful. Okay, so effective against flying foes, grants plus three res. Okay, so mula gear... That's ironic. Uh, mula gear granted plus three speed and swift mula gear does not grant any speed, it grants plus three res. Okay. Uh, if the number of allies within two spaces excluding the unit is greater than the number of foes within two spaces excluding the target, grants plus five attack and plus five speed during combat. Jesus. Jesus Christ. Okay, hold on. So, if the number of allies within two spaces is great... So, it... it, it... Okay. Um... So basically, if you have a lot of your team bunched up together, you're going to get a stronger boost on Lin as she's attacking an enemy unit, um, provided that the enemy unit is not also bunched together or surrounding Lin. Um, okay, so I mean, I, that, that really does f sort of favor um, arena tactics where you're splitting up the opponent and you're baiting them on one side to another and isolating them, so it, it really favors the ability to uh, isolate a particular opponent, and then Lin will get a whole bunch of buffs on herself um, as long as she has allies within two spaces. Uh, rally, defense, res, that's that's fine. Um, that's, that's pretty good. Uh, laws of Sake. All right, so rather than Sake's blessing, we have the Laws of Sake as her A slot, which is pretty competitive slot. If foe initiates combat and the number of allies within two spaces is greater than two, greater than or equal than two, excuse me, grants attack speed defense res plus four during combat. Okay, wow. Wow, that's a, that's a lot of boosts. So again, favoring this bunching up units, or at least having units relatively close to Lin. So, I, I mean, the way that I suspect this is going to play is that your team configuration is going to be... I mean, two spaces isn't too... it's not too bunched up. I mean, it's not like it's not like a spur effect. It's, it's obviously like a drive effect. So, your team is, is going to be relatively sticking close together anyway, and in most cases, this, you know, this condition for activating the Laws of Sakae and activating the boost for Swift Mula Gear really is not that stringent at all, and plus four to all of her stats, depending on what her stat line is, I'm assuming it's going to be very strong, um, is uh, is really not all that difficult at all. Desperation three, as always, for a long range unit um, and a long range speedy unit, is a fantastic B slot. Speed tactic three, at the start of the turn, grants plus six to allies. We all know what that's about. Um, okay. Well, that's pretty crazy. I mean, obviously, I like the shift. I mean, it, it, it's, it, it caters more to team composition and 
Um, I can see this getting a lot of use, especially on hybrid teams. Pretty cool. Um, let's go ahead and continue the rest of the video again, just so we can see Lin's animations, because those were crazy. Okay, so we've got her taking on Jafar here. She doubles, does 31 damage. Um, so she has Desperation active, obviously. So so she has a special animation while she has Desperation active, I guess, and, and does a consecutive double. Uh, so that is... It's pretty, uh, it's pretty slick, I've got to say. Okay, she tanks and takes zero damage from this thief. And then... She counterattacks. Okay. It does 46 damage. Interesting. And of course, last but not least, Lin has our first colored bow. It is a green colored bow. Uh, in the game, and it is non-inheritable, so um, so much for me <laughs> wanting to try to use colored bows on Kinchi Knight Hinoka, but I, I'm, I'm sure we may or may not get some, some different actually inheritable colored bows down the line, but that is interesting. So she has Swift Mula Gear, which is non-inheritable, and that is our first colored bow in the game. And then just in terms of the other units that are available in this banner, like I said, it is stacked. We've got Jenny, we've got Shigure, we've got Inigo. I mean, all these seasonals are extremely strong. Uh, Makai is a fan favorite, but probably one of the weaker of this entire batch. Erica is also strong. Vanguard Ike, which everybody has. A um, lot of fan favorites here. I've got to say, and I can see a lot of people pulling really hard for this legendary banner. Uh, it is sort of odd. I know a lot of people have been waiting to see what Golden Week would... Uh, would feature for us. A lot of people were suspecting a Hero Fest would be coming down the line, and, and who knows? I mean, we should be getting an announcement either later today or... I mean, the Golden Week technically starts uh, tomorrow. Or uh, the Golden Week event, I should say, actually starts tomorrow. So you would think if they're going to make an announcement, they would make it... They would make it pretty soon. Um, but again, these are... This is an incredible banner. I mean, I would strongly recommend if any of these units look, look good to you... Um, None of them are really pity breakers. I mean, they're all really fantastic units. You know, obviously there's a love and hate relationship when it comes to legendary banners. Uh, for the one thing, you have a higher overall five-star rate. Um, on the other hand, sniping a single particular unit is a little bit more difficult because that 8% is broken up amongst 12 units, so you have less than a 1% chance of pulling any individual unit if you're only looking for a single unit. Uh, but this particular banner is completely stacked. Um, not really much in the way of actual pity breakers, I would say. So if you're missing a lot of these units, I would say go for it. I mean, this is this is really a lot of amazing, amazing units, all kind of crammed into one banner right here. Um, as for me, I don't know if I'm going to go in hard on this. I, I I haven't really decided. I'll think about it. I mean, I had a whole lot of luck with the. Uh, the recent Wings of Fate banner, so I, I, I do have a pretty good orb repository, but uh, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna think it over a little bit. Lynn looks great. She really does. I don't know if we needed another Lynn, but she is the introduction to colored bows into the game, and, uh, and, and the banner itself has a lot of tempting units in it. So uh, that's it for me. I uh, Feel free to let me know in the comments below if, uh, if you're gonna be pulling on this one. I know at least a couple of you out there are going to for some of these units. Well, thanks for coming along uh, for the ride. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please feel free to leave us a comment, like, and subscribe to the channel for more Fire Emblem Heroes content. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, let's protect those skies.